guys welcome back to my channel myself k santosh from ec domain studying in sri venkateswara college of engineering bangalore today our topic is human brain comparison with cpu of computer now let's get into the introduction part here the human brain and the cpu of a computer are complex systems responsible for processing information here Human brain and CPU uses electrical signals to transmit and process data. Now we are going to understand the similarities and differences between human brain and CPU of a computer. Now let me know the structure of a human brain and a CPU. The human brain is made up of billions of neurons interconnected through synapses. The CPU of a computer consists of circuits and transistors arranged in a hierarchical structure, but both structures allows for transmission and processing of information. Now, let us know the processing power of both human brain and a CPU of a computer. Here, the human brain has an estimated processing power of 1 exaflop, that is 10 to the power of 18 floating point operation per second. Floating point operation per second, which means method of encoding a real numbers within the limits. Here, modern CPUs like the AMD Ryzen 9, again Intel, those can reach over 600 gigaflops, that is 10 to the power of 9 floating op point operation per second. CPUs have a higher processing power when compared to the human brain. Now, let us know the parallel processing of human brain and a CPU. The human brain can perform multiple tasks simultaneously through parallel processing. CPUs are designed with multiple cores to enable parallel processing of tasks, but both the brain and CPU benefits from parallel processing to increase efficiency. Here in the picture, you can see the serial versus parallel processing. Here, let us take an example, complex story, that is example identifying an object. In serial processing, step 1 is shape, step 2 is location, step 3 is color, and again, etc. Here in serial processing, this processing occurs one step at a time. But as well, whereas in parallel processing, you can see here, task divided into parts. Part 1, shape. Part 2, location. Part 3, color. Here, processing occurs simultaneously in different models in different parts of the brain. Learning and adaptation. The human brain has the ability to learn from experience and adapt its behavior accordingly. CPUs can adjust their operations based on machine learning algorithms and adaptive programming. Thus, CPU can read the object by an algorithm and machine learning. Here, both systems have the capacity to learn and adapt, although the mechanisms differ. Here, human brain and a CPU can able to read and learn the object, but the mechanism of the both are different. Now, let us know the energy, effic energy efficiency of the brain and your CPU. The human brain is highly energy efficient, consuming around 20 watts of power, whereas CPUs require significantly more power, with high-end processors consuming up to 250 watts. The brain outperforms CPUs in terms of energy efficiency. Now, let us know the storage capacity of human brain and a CPU. The human brain has an estimated storage capacity of 2.5 petabytes, that is 10 to the power of 15 bytes or more. Here, human brain is limitless, but on average, we know that 2.5 petabytes. CPUs rely on external storage devices such as hard drivers or solid state drivers for data storage. The brain surpasses CPUs in terms of intrinsic storage capacity. Speed of processing. Here you can learn the processing speed of a brain and a processing speed of a CPU. Yeah. The human brain has a slower processing speed compared to CPUs as it relies on chemical and electrical signals. CPUs operate much higher clock speeds and can perform calculations in nanoseconds. CPUs excel in terms of speed when compared to the brain. Here, human brain is 10 million times slower than the CPU. Now, we know about the fault tolerance of a brain and a CPU. Fault tolerance, which means that enables an operating system response to a failure in hardware or software. 
the human brain can adapt and compensate for damage or loss of neurons through neuroplasticity cpus are vulnerable to physical damage and require redundancy redundancy which means no longer needed and error correction mechanisms the brain demonstrates superior fault tolerance compared to cpus now let us know the limitations of a cpu and a human brain cpu have limitations in terms of processing speed memory capacity and adaptability again also parallel processing also that is in parallel processing it cannot handle large talks that require millions of similar operations the human brain also has limitations such as processing speed and vulnerability to cognitive biases in this graph you can see the limitation of human brain according to the years of an age and understanding these limits can inspire advancements in both technology and neuroscience by understanding these limitations we can do the advancements in the technology now let us conclude the topic the human brain and cpu are both remarkable systems for processing information while cpus excel in raw processing power and speed the brain outperforms in terms of energy efficiency storage capacity and fault tolerance human brain is much more better than cpu in terms of energy efficiency and storage capacity in brain the storage capacity is limitless whereas in the brain storage capacity is limitless that is over the long term memories are encoded in neural patterns understanding the similarities and differences between the brain and cpu can further advance technology and our understanding by the human mind thus we know about the human brain comparison with the cpu here in this topic we learned about the parallel processing and storage capacity and energy efficiency thanks for watching and spending the time with me those who are not subscribed please like and subscribe my channel keep the bell icon on for the future updates